Hello everyone. We've all been in the following situation at least once in our lives. You're walking down the street or standing in a subway car, when all of a sudden, a person appears and begs you to give them some money. At that moment, your heart sinks. You start looking for your wallet, but then you think, where will my money really go? Am I doing the right thing, or will it end up in the pockets of some bad people? It is because of these thoughts that many people cease this impulse of compassion. <laughs> And in most cases, they are right. Among the street beggars, there are a large number of scammers. Today, we'll tell you how criminals on the streets deceive people and what tricks they use to manipulate us. Let's get it on. People with disabilities a classic example is beggars pretending to be disabled. This is one of the most effective tricks. People are more willing to help people who have physical disabilities. To spark even more compassion, the beggar usually tells a sad story about a terrible war injury. Sometimes these people deliberately expose their wounds, hoping that passers-by would rather give them money to forget about them. These beggars deliberately limp, impersonate blind or mute people, and even use a wheelchair to make people believe that they suffer all the time. But in many cases, it's discovered that the disabled person can hear and speak perfectly, or even run. Some criminals have been using this method for years, receiving money from naive people on the streets and public transport, but many have been discovered by the police or passers-by. For example, something like this happened in China. A beggar pretending to be a poor man with both legs amputated was caught red-handed in the middle of a busy street in the city of Altai. The man with the disability was lying on the ground on some sort of traveling device when a passerby decided to expose him. One might think, what's his problem with the poor guy? It turns out that the vigilante had seen the beggar on the bus a few hours earlier standing up and absolutely healthy. After several attempts to pull off his pants, he managed to reveal his secret. The cheetah's legs were crossed under his clothes, and his sad story was just fiction. Another example, a Chinese beggar, allegedly paralyzed, moves through the streets of Wenling on a wooden skateboard, lying on his stomach. It looks pretty heartbreaking, right up until the second part of the video. After his work shift is over, the man takes off his old clothes, gets up from his vehicle, and stands as if nothing were wrong. The saddest thing is that many people helped him that day, especially a journalist who got out of his way to help him. However, the man refused. It's a pity that because of these thieves, those who really need help often don't get it. This is a family business, as internet users joke. In this video, a person pretending to be disabled crawls through the streets of the city accompanied by two women and children. At first, it all looks okay, until the disabled man suddenly stops to rest on the stairs. There, the man takes off his disguise, gets up, and doesn't even limp. Blind Another type of fake handicapped people are fake blind beggars. These people also cause us profound compassion, especially if they move around the city with the help of a guide dog. But as you've already understood, many of these blind people can probably see better than you. Here's a good example. Of course, we don't see this person's face, but a look from behind is enough to understand everything about him. The guy filming all this on the camera is outraged. How blind can you be when your blind stick is rolling behind you? and you're looking into the storefronts. Well, fair enough. Young Mothers Another pretty efficient method used to extort money from passers-by is pretending to be a young single mother with a baby in your arms, or pregnant. The woman cries and asks for help. How can you say no? Even the toughest of us buy into it. Naturally, there are many single mothers in the world, women who need psychological and financial help. About 17% of children aged 0 to 14 around the world live with only one parent, often in extreme poverty. However, the single mothers you see on the transport on the streets are probably not part of this group. As a general rule, their huge stomachs turn out to be fake. The scammer can carry them for years. If she has a baby in her hands, it's probably just a doll as well. Although in some cases, it is a real child, which is so much worse. In this case, the children are given sedatives or worse so that they don't make unnecessary sounds and serve as accessories all day long. Not to mention the fact that the baby can have been kidnapped as well. 
Listen to this crazy story that shook the American public five years ago. It was posted by a woman who regularly saw the same woman and her son in downtown San Diego. She asked passers-by for money every weekend for at least two months. And what's the problem? The problem is that the woman found out where the couple was going after their work shift. And more importantly, how? The woman drove a Mercedes-Benz car. Also, through the side window, it was clearly seen that the woman had a cheerful expression on her face as she was counting her money. Clearly, she has no remorse. The Mentally Handicapped Another type of phony disabled person on the streets of the city are actors portraying people with mental health problems. Sometimes this strategy works even better than fake physical problems. It is effective too, because some bystanders are afraid of people with mental problems and don't know what to expect from them. So they just give them some money because they don't want to get in any trouble. This guy's name is Gary Thompson and he deserves an Oscar, really. See how he talks while on the street? You wouldn't tell that he doesn't actually have an intellectual disability. Why in that camera for? Give me money and to get some eat. Journalists decided to dig into the beggar's story and discovered that his mother sued Honda for two and a half million dollars for a motorcycle accident. Gary did suffer a tragedy, which left him wheelchair bound. However, his brain was not affected. In fact, he speaks and communicates perfectly without help. Yeah, I'm really good at it, really good. I clear about $100,000 a year doing this. As you can see, the guy is a real professional. Now the actor works in Kentucky and Lexington, and before that he used to fool people in Austin, Texas in the same way. Plus, Gary has a degree in speech pathology, so he's an actual expert at his job. Homeless on the Road Another common type of beggar in the big cities are homeless people on the roads. In any weather, at any time of the day, they like to pass between the rows of cars, especially during peak hours when the drivers can't escape. These beggars usually only ask for a penny, but sometimes they also have their tricks. For example, they can start cleaning the windshield and then demand some money. Many scammers use the method in the following video. This person is trying to mimic an epilepsy seizure in the middle of the road. However, nobody pays attention to him. And the beggar just gets up and moves on. Considering that all this happened during rush hour, it's not clear how the scammer doesn't fear for his own life. Robbed Beggar Another classic type of scammer is a person from another city allegedly robbed and without enough money for a return ticket. Most of the time, you can find these beggars in the subway and at train stations. Everything seems very convincing. The person looks well-dressed and has a bag or a suitcase. It seems that you can easily avoid being fooled. If you really want to help, you can just buy the ticket and give it to the poor guy. But how do you make sure he really got on the train instead of returning his ticket five minutes after you leave? It's quite hard to believe that a a person in such a situation doesn't have a phone or the number of a friend or relative to ask for help. But even if something like this really happened, there are better solutions than asking passers-by for money. In many cities, there are social services for this purpose. And if a person is unlucky enough to be robbed in another country, then of course, he or she can go to the consulate. Sick Kids in the age of the internet, you are likely to find heartbreaking messages about sick children on social media. However, there are people who tell made-up stories about deadly diseases and expensive surgeries in real life. And the worst thing is that these scammers pretend to be parents of sick children or volunteers from a charity that, of course, does not exist. One might think that a binder full of documents is enough to confirm the diagnoses of medical exams, but this is not the case. Only 10% of these people actually tell the truth. The rest use false documents and lie without remorse. Beggars with animals The last hoax, which is also quite popular, is beggars with animals. As a general rule, the sad animal sits next to the scammer while they ask for money for food or shelter. However, if the beggar really loved the dog, they wouldn't keep them in the cold all day. In addition, these animals are often drugged, like the children, with sleeping pills or something similar to keep them calm. If you keep an eye on such a beggar for a few weeks, you'll notice how often they change pets too. By the way, dishonest beggars can be held responsible not only 
for fraud, but also for animal abuse. In such cases, don't give them any money and just call the police instead. After all this, you're probably wondering whether or not you should actually help people in need. Of course, you must help them, and there are many ways to do that. The easiest way is making a donation to a certified social fund. Today, these organizations deal with most of these problems. A couple of bucks won't affect your budget, but if everyone donates $2 every month, thousands of people will be saved from poverty and many other problems. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.